Things change when you have a new baby in the family. There's less time with mom and dad. There's baby things all over the house. And there's tons of special stuff to get at the market. Like string peas. I'm glad I don't have to eat them. Babies need lots of attention, but they're loads of fun. I didn't always have a baby sister. But now that she's okay. here, I'm glad, because things wouldn't be as much fun without her. I like being a big brother now, but I wasn't always sure I would. In the beginning, when everybody was talking about the baby, the baby, the baby, I felt left out. I kept wondering, hey, what about me? sitting there on this couch when my mom and dad told me we were going to have a new baby. It was a big surprise. I never thought about it before. <laughs> I felt great. Curious. What would it be like? Then I got scared and began to worry. I was confused. Hi, I'm Heather. When I heard of a new baby coming, I wasn't sure what to feel. At first I felt happy. Actually, I was jumping for joy. But then all of a sudden, I felt sad. I wasn't jumping for joy anymore. Hi, I'm Kara. At first everyone kept saying, you're gonna get to be a big sister. You'll get to be the oldest kid in the family. That sounded pretty good to me. I got excited. Then, I was kind of amazed. It was a funny idea, me being a big sister. I started to think about it and about how I liked it being just mom, dad, and me. I liked everything the way it was. But everyone kept talking about changes. Before the baby came, furniture got moved around a lot. My old things got taken out of boxes. And everything got put away just right. Before the baby came, I got some books about babies. That was so I could find out more about what they would be like. Before the baby came, me and my sister talked about what it would be like with three kids in the family. We talked about all the changes that were going on. I didn't think that it was fair that I had to share my room with the new baby and my sister got to keep hers. Heather, you have a bigger room. It'll work out. And everyone kept saying how exciting it would be to be a big sister. I was getting sick of hearing how lucky I was. Heather, you keep saying how tired you are of being the baby in the family. She was right. I wasn't going to be the baby anymore. Things would be different. We were all getting ready.
Then the day arrived, and so did the baby. 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 I went to visit Mom in the hospital and to meet our new baby there. I talked to my mom on the phone right after she delivered our baby. When Mom was in the hospital, Dad took me out for ice cream. He told me he was nervous and excited. I was glad to know he felt that way too. New babies are interesting. Sometimes they just sort of lie there like they're waiting. They are sticky and wet like a dog's nose or an ice cream cone. New babies have no manners. They burp and spit and you know what. There's a lot of wiping up to do. It's hard to believe I was ever so small. Everything on a baby is little. Little fingers, little toes, but a big voice. Babies can make lots of noise when they cry. That's how they tell you that they need something, like changing, or feeding, or hugging. Babies need a lot of attention, and boy, do they get it. When people come to see the baby, they say icky stuff like, Oh, she's so cute. She looks like her dad. She has her mom's nose. People bring things for the baby. Sometimes they bring things for me, too. When they don't, I feel angry that they forgot me. I still get angry when I don't get enough attention. And when I'm angry, I hammer on my pounding bench. Or I play with my bathtub toys. It calms me down. And some days I just feel like a wrecking thing. Yeah. I hate it when I'm having fun with my mom and the baby wakes up from her nap. She interrupts everything. Yeah. I can get so angry I want to kick and punch everything in my way. Yeah. Let's go play ball. Ian, you're my best friend. I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm mad. It's okay to feel angry, all grumpy, all mad. Go tell someone you love that you're feeling real bad. Throw a ball, run in circles, find a bed, get it out. You will feel better real soon, no, no doubt. doubt. When your insides are roaring and your face is all red, don't whine and complain. Don't hide in your bed. Sometimes just a hug, a cookie, a kiss can help to make you feel better. No doubt about this. You have to be patient with the baby. They don't know much. But they learn fast. At first, new babies stare a lot. They suck. They jerk their arms and legs around. They turn to hear different noises. They grab fingers. They yawn a lot. When babies get a little older, they will smile and laugh at you. This makes you feel good. They get to be more and more fun as they get bigger. There are lots of things you can enjoy doing with the baby that she will like too. Exercise her legs. Stretch together. Tickle her toes. Kiss her hands. Make fun noises. Take her for a slow walk or a fast walk. Blow on his tummy. Give him a cuddle. Touch his cheek, cause I like that. I bet you can think of lots of things to do with your baby. What a pretty girl you are, yeah. 
Babies like to be talked to. Mama. Mama. Ha ha. Ha ha. What does a cow say? Ha. Moo. Talk in a high voice. Talk in a low voice. <laughs> say silly words and make your baby laugh. Widows, noodles, puddles. There are tons of games you can play with your baby, and you can teach them to him. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and tickle you under there! <laughs> round and round the garden, like a little mouse. One step, two steps, and tickle you in your house. Is that fun? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Sometimes just making faces and noises is fun. There are many bouncing games you can do with your baby, especially the ones you remember like... Trot the bus, then trot, trot the lid. Watch out, little girl, or you might fall in. This is the way the grown-ups are, nim, nim, nim. This is the way the children are, trim, trim, trim. This is the way the farmers ride, trot, trot, trot. This is the way the races ride, go up, go up, go up, go up. Go up! One, two, three, yeah. babies on the knee, rooster crowing, down she goes. And there are lullabies too. Sleep, baby, sleep. Thy father tends thy sheep. Thy father shakes thy dreamland tree. And from it falls sweet dreams for thee. Sleep, baby, sleep. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat won't pull, Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull. If that cart and bull fall over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named name Rover won't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. And if that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest little baby in town. Sometimes I get tired of playing with a baby. I get tired of hearing about the baby. And all I want is for someone to pay attention to me. So I tell mom and we spend time together while the baby naps. Or I tell dad and he'll play with me. Sometimes I need it to be me, mom and dad, even just for a little. Once in a while, I can stay up later when the baby is already asleep. Or mom and dad get a babysitter and we go out to a movie. I love doing that. But when the baby is crying or needs to eat, I can feel left out. Lonely Feeling blue, nothing to do. Twiddle my thumbs, kick the dirt, play with my skirt. Lonely, 
feeling blue, nothing to do, watch TV, dance all around, don't make a sound. Lonely, feeling blue, nothing to do, munch carrot sticks, talk on the phone, be all alone. There are things I can do when I feel lonely. I can call a friend or I can call my grandma. I could grab a snack bag and sit with mom. Well, the baby eats. I can eat too. I can feel grown up and do something fun in my room by myself. When I was a baby like my brother, I couldn't do much for myself. But now that I'm more grown up, I can do a lot. Like peel a carrot. Comb my own hair and dress myself. Make a peanut butter sandwich with a friend. Ride my bike. Go down a slide. Draw. 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 I can also help with the baby. Mom and Dad like it when I pitch in with bathing, dressing, feeding, rocking to sleep, and protecting. I know a lot about having a baby sister now. Some things have changed, but a lot stayed the same. We eat together like we always did. But now there's one more at the table. And more of a mess, too. We still go places, only now there's another person. And she's in my old car seat, with Cheerios all around her. I don't always get attention right when I want it, but the fun hasn't stopped. And Mom and Dad still love me. In some ways, I feel more important and more grown up being an older sister. My mom says, You and your sister will grow together. You'll laugh a lot. You'll share some friends. You'll argue, even when you're grown up. I know my baby brother won't be a baby forever. But he'll always be my brother. My sister will always be my sister. Even when we're grown up. I suppose the best thing my sister will always have is me for a friend. What a lucky baby. What about me? Starred Heather Rich Lynch and her family. Kara Garber and her family. Robbie Kalen and his family. Here are some more videos from Kid 